Hi, I'm Beth Parkinson, Director of Customer Insights at Rockwell Automation, and I'm with... Umer Masood. I manage the cybersecurity services portfolio for Rockwell. So, Umer, thanks for joining me. Let's talk about cybersecurity. Sure. So, cybersecurity is a hot topic for everyone these days, and for food and beverage companies, it's especially critical because there are certain attacks that have happened that can really affect all parts of an operation and even their overall business. But, with it being such a hot topic, Sometimes one of the challenges is how do you get started? There's tons of information on the web right now related to best practices, how to get started. But I find from customers that I talk to, a lot of them still are struggling with really to how to get started with the ongoing cybersecurity practice. Can you give us one or two things that you think are the most critical aspects of getting started? Absolutely, yeah. I think uh, you know when we start working with customers, a, a great first place to start is understanding what you have connected into your environment. Um, if you know what you have, then you can figure out what you need to do to start protecting it. Um, and, and really, that, that gaining that, that visibility is, is extremely important uh, as you kind of you know, continue on that cybersecurity journey. So, I know we work for Rockwell Automation, but we're not just talking about your automation equipment, you're talking about really everything in your operations, is that correct? Absolutely, yeah. When, when you go to address cyber risk, you don't want to try to do it for just one vendor's products, right? You want to look at it from a site perspective, from an enterprise perspective. You want to be able to address that, that cyber risk for all products, regardless of vendor. And, and we've got products and services that really help you agnostically accomplish that for, for all of your devices. Awesome. Now, say there is there are a lot of companies who maybe have taken that step. They have visibility on to what their operation is. What do they need to do in order to take some next steps, really, to have that ongoing cyber security program? Yeah, sure. So, so really, the next step beyond that visibility is to start to figure out what's the attack surface in my environment, right? Um, if I can start to enumerate and, and get an understanding of what are the most critical machines, critical areas of my environment, I can start to map out and say, for those most critical areas, what are the vulnerabilities associated with them? Because if I think about it, if, if I lose control or if there is a cyber breach, you know, I, I lose uh, the ability to uh, uh, really make that machine available to myself, what kind of impact is it going to have to my business? Is it, you know, uh, impact to people safety? Um, you know, is it impact to maybe environmental safety? Or is it a monetary loss for, for my business? Um, so, so that's a, a good next step to, to start to walk through. And then, you know, really what that allows you to do is create a prioritized list of, you know, hey, based off of the, the largest impact, largest consequence, those are the vulnerabilities that I want to go and address first. That's awesome. Well, so I think what we've heard is really the top priorities are getting visibility to everything in your operation and then prioritizing. It could be prioritizing where you think the biggest risk is. People, process, the technologies that you have in your operation. So thanks so much. Thanks, Umair, for joining us. Thank you, Beth. Have a great day.